So the next session is going to be on the academic research at Wikimedia Polska, and we have Wojciech Pszenji as our speaker. Hi, hello everybody. I'm going to switch on my camera. Uh, okay, so so we have also a visual aspect of, of my presentation, but I also have slides. Um, hello everyone. My name is Wojciech, um, and uh, I'm going to change the title of my presentation a bit. Uh, I'm going to talk about editing contests on Polish Wikipedia, hot or not, do they work or not, and a little more about academic research that, that we're doing first. Um, you probably know me, but uh, I've got about 14 years of experience on Polish Wikipedia and about 56,000 edits there. And as an, as an administrator, I deleted 20,000 articles. So I've seen the good, the bad, the ugly, and the whole rest. Um, I've been a member of Wikipedia, uh, Wikimedia Polska for many years, but first of all, and foremost of all, I'm a volunteer. And sometimes you can see me in conferences carrying uh, banners, even. <laughs> um, so I will invite you on a journey with me. Let's, let's follow this road. Let's talk about some research. Um, in general, research related to Wikipedia and Wikimedia has been uh, rather sparse in the early years because up to 2013, I counted about 10 books about Wikipedia. And most of them were editing manuals or history of Wikipedia, nothing really that much in depth, not many of them at least. And then things happened. And then in 2013, 14, this guy in the picture, you might know him as Dariusz Emielniak, um, came to my door and said, listen, man, I've got a book about Wikipedia and ethnography would you like to read it, comment on it, and translate it? And that's what happened. You've got common knowledge, the first ever ethnography, a qualitative study, study that describes of Wikipedia and Wikipedians. Since then, uh, there has been research. Uh, surely there has been. Uh, on my last uh, visit to uh, a catalog of uh, academic articles. I counted more than 6,500 academic articles uh, mentioning Wikipedia, related to Wikipedia, describing Wikipedia and its sister projects. But still, recently in a conversation with a few people that I will, uh, that I will introduce to you, I have heard a question. You have got so much data what are you doing with it in terms of research and study? And we said, not much. And I saw really big eyes and the question, why? Um, there, is, there is academic research uh, related to Wikipedia. Um, like early this year, uh, Dariusz Szymielniak, his wife and myself, we wrote an article um, using data from Wikidata to measure the length of life of academic bishops, uh, the, ac the academic teachers, bishops, and uh, regular priests who are not bishops and who, are, uh, who have got their entries in Wikidata. And uh, this um, research echoed a bit in the academic world. It was uh, published in a very highly, um, in, 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 in a very uh, high quality uh, scientific journal. And it, it even got a meme on one of the Polish um, independent news portals uh, who made a, a very good description and explanation of the study uh, in which we found out that bishops for whom a lot of millions of people even pray per year do not live longer, that the prayer doesn't have an effect on their length of life. The caption on this is, well, maybe not, but it's nice. At least you know that people are, are thinking warmly about you. So yes, there is research and we want to do uh, research uh, at Wikimedia Polska, let's do research. Uh, allow me to go back two years, more than two years, two and a half years. Uh, 
to a strategic session that uh, Wikimedia Polska board with Łukasz Garczewski had for a few days somewhere near Warsaw. Um, this is one of the photos from the session. This is Shimon and Łukasz uh, arranging uh, important points, mm, uh, doing priorities. Uh, so during this session, which lasted for about three days, one of the things that we came up with was we want to do research. Let's set up, let's Wiki, let Wikimedia Polska set up a research program to get to know more about editors, projects or the content, and readers. Because all we do, we do for the readers. And th the next question is, why do this research at all? I'm going to stay with the same picture, with the same two gentlemen in the same strategic session that, that we had in a different part of our recommendations, conclusions from this, uh, from this session, we said that we want to make more informed decisions um, regarding community support. We want to do things because we know they work, not because we feel they work. And that's why we wanted to support some of our decisions with academic research. Let's be still more specific because we are talking in general terms, but let's be more, even more specific. Um, okay, I'll give, you, I'll give you a very specific study and the reason for this study that we did and that we are finalizing. And I'll tell you about this study. Wikimedia Polska organizes writing contests or co-organizes writing contests, as you can see here in the graphic file, the Sea Spring. We are one country in the whole sea region organizing it. And these contests cost us time because uh, our staff and volunteers are working over them. They cost us money because we fund prizes, because we organize jury meetings, etc. So the question is, does it make sense? Do these contests result in good quality articles, good quality content? Especially, specifically, is this content which is of the same quality, lower quality, or higher quality than the articles which are created spontaneously in the normal life of Wikipedia as a knowledge project. From this question, we went to the group that the, the group of uh, articles that we want to that we want to measure. And uh, a second question arose in the meantime: What is actually high quality content? How do you define it? You cannot measure it so we would not be going for quantitative studies studies that measure uh compare count but we would probably need to go into qualitative studies and qualitative research methods which describe okay uh Meet the quality team. Uh, these two pictures don't have a free license footer because I borrowed them um, from the websites of the universities. Uh, the person in the top picture is Anna Modzalewska, PhD, uh, Jagiellonian University, the oldest university in Poland. Um, the person in the bottom is Dr. Marta Szeluga Romańska uh, from the Gdańsk University of Technology. Mm. I met them uh, when I was providing some translation services for them, for their, for their uh, academic papers. And we found that uh, we like working together. Uh, so I invited them and they're both ethnographers. Uh, so I invited them to, um, to do this study of, of quality of articles with me, not only with me because um, this research was supported by yours truly. Um, Katarzyna Wiążewska, who is um, a volunteer statistician 
for Wikimedia Polska. And Natalia Safran Kozakowska, whom you, I guess, you know uh, quite well, and who is the um, volunteer support specialist for Wikimedia Polska, and who will actually, uh, who was actually very interested in the results because she would be, she would be implementing these results uh, in her work. Okay, so we've got the question about content quality and about. Uh, the, the, the quality of uh, articles which are written in, in article writing contests. We've got the team. Cool, let's look at the articles themselves because you can't take just everything, all contest articles and all non-contest articles uh, because you can't compare articles related to a river in Russia to an article related to, to, to an article describing the latest album by a rock band and to an article that describes an astronaut. So we decided to go with uh, women's biographies. We took all the women's biographies which were written in 2020 and we separated them into two baskets. The articles which were written spontaneously in the regular uh, interest of Wikipedians, there were 3,036 of them. 3,036 women's biographies which were written outside of writing contests in 2020. And this is the number of articles which were written in writing contests. Um, there were 642 in total. And we had three uh, writing contests uh, that year. So from CE Spring, we've got almost 200 women's biographies. Uh, from Wiki Challenge, uh, we had 76 and three, 372 from the March uh, edition, from, from, from the March writing contest. March is a month dedicated to women uh, in Wikipedia. And this was the unknown women of Wikipedia contest. 372 articles. So we've got the question, we've got the team, we've got the content, let's do it. Uh, the method of research that we decided to take uh, was a focus group interview. We actually had two. Uh, focus group interview is uh, an interview between a researcher and a group of, let's say six to eight people uh, in which there are general questions, general ideas uh, that the researcher has. These questions are asked, but generally the, the interview goes whichever way it naturally goes. Um, we decided to have two of these interviews. Uh, the first one was with editors, with Wikipedia editors. We recruited... Um, we recruited six of them and half of them were uh, supporters of writing contests who said, yeah, they, they, they are good, they work, we like them. And the other half was uh, skeptical. I'm not sure if this is, uh, if, if the content uh, is of high quality. Maybe these are, you know, like serial articles which just differ in the name. So this was, 50 to 50 percent um, representation of, of supporters and skeptics. This, the, this interview lasted for about one hour and a half. The second interview, which also lasted uh, for one hour and a half, uh, was with readers. We recruited readers mostly through our social media channels, and there were also six of them. So. Uh, what it was like, we, um, we prepared uh, randomly selected articles from these both groups, contest and non-contest uh, articles. We uh, gave them to our uh, interview participants and we asked them questions about what high quality things they see in these articles. What, what do they think is high quality? Which articles 
do they think are good and which articles think are not that good. Uh, we also, uh, so afterwards, the recording was uh, transcribed. So it was put on paper. Each, each of the two recordings was put on paper. And the researchers were uh, going over these uh, transcriptions um, to search for these uh, key components, key ideas, the most important um, concepts which would allow us to, to answer the questions that we had at the beginning. We also planned uh, individual interviews with uh, about five media specialists, academics and professionals in the media business. Uh, but we had, we felt we had enough materials after the two uh, focus interviews that we can abandon uh, the individual interviews. And, you know, come on, Wikipedians like to talk, right? Uh, and we had a lot of input from Wikipedians. We also had a lot of input from readers, don't get me wrong. Uh, as for the quality of content, editors said that uh, in the articles, uh, and uh, I need to mention, each of the six participants received 10 different articles. So there were, uh, there were we were talking around 60 different articles uh, from uh, from the whole population of articles. When we asked the editors, Wikipedia editors, about what is high quality, they said that articles that uh, are high quality, they are complete. They describe the biography, the person, in a complete way. Uh, these are rather standardized articles with um, predictable structure, nothing fancy. You know, we like standard articles. We editors like standard articles. The proportions in the article need to be good. Mm, articles which have got just a little about the professional career and a lot about private life of a person, there are not good proportions. Uh, a good quality article has a potential to develop. Uh, we had people who said, well, okay, I have got this biography of a woman. It says that when she was 12, uh, she went to the monastery. She spent her time there. She became a saint and nothing more. You cannot develop this article. Uh, this is not good quality article. You cannot add to it. Um, high quality, quality articles are about rather difficult topics sometimes that there are something more than a, a compilation of facts available online like especially uh, facts available online in english um, read, um, the editor said that uh, they like articles about exotic biographies exotic to us in terms of uh, coming from a totally different culture for example uh, of course the article must be about a notable person. And after this uh, first uh, focus interview, we had a submission for articles of deletion of a biography, which was about a person who was known because she was known, nothing more than that. Uh, editors like internal links and they like sources and bibliography. Well, what can you expect from Wikipedians? Um, and editors like articles which are, which are correct in language and style. You can expect that from editors. What can you expect from readers? Readers uh, like articles which are divided into sections. It's not a wall of text. It's divided into sections. Readers like info boxes. They take the basic information from info boxes and they like it. Readers like photos and pictures. Mm, of course, not everywhere it is possible. But uh, if you've got a picture and it's a picture other than the tombstone of the person who's described in the biography, it's good for the readers. Readers like extra info. 
they they like facts they like data they like trivia charts tables quotes links to sources and internal links and of course sometimes you look at a wikipedia article at seven o'clock in the evening at and, and at one o'clock in the morning you are reading about the history of the ancient civilizations because you clicked the links to to articles that lead you there uh, they like if the topic is complete again similar to readers um, they like the balance between length of text and intensity of text. Uh, the article can be longer, but shorter paragraphs, not a wall of text again. This is something that readers like. And readers like recorded pronunciation, especially for languages that they don't know. So this might give us uh, a motivation to think about uh, the quality of uh, biographic articles. And now come the fireworks. We asked the readers and the editors, we gave them five articles from the contest, the uh, content, uh, sorry, contest category, and five articles from the spontaneous articles category. And you know what? The readers and editors said that they like the articles which come from writing contents, uh, contests more. That writing contests actually bring us better quality content. What a surprise. So this answers our question as to, does it make sense to do writing contests? Yes, on Polish Wikipedia, it makes sense to do writing contests because the quality of the articles from writing contests, um, at least women's biographies, is higher than the quality of the articles which are created spontaneously. We're going to do more. Uh, we're going to add uh, some quantitative metrics to this research. Are articles from writing contests longer? Are they better illustrated? Do they have more references? Is the division into sections different? So we can support our uh, description, our qualitative research with, with more data. Uh, and myself and the two ladies that I introduced to you are going to write an article, an academic article, and we're going to publish this in some highly rated journal, and we will all benefit from that. I mean, the community will benefit uh, from the standard or the expected standard of a biographical article. Uh, volunteer support at Wikimedia Polska will benefit in knowing that what they do makes sense, and in having information to create better writing contests. The academic world will benefit uh, from another good paper, good article about it. Why not? Um, I'm developing a second uh, qualitative project with the same team. Uh, we want to look at uh, articles describing recent events on Wikipedia, uh, because there are quite a lot of these articles. Uh, right now, it's, of course, it's the COVID pandemic, according to countries. Um, it's the Korean space program, and these are the events on the polish belarusian border. There are articles related to recent events, and some editors say, well, they don't belong here, they belong to Wikinews. And some editors say, well, I don't care. I like that the articles are here as long as they are updated. So we want to use to have the same team, the same qualitative team that I presented earlier, and uh, to use similar methods, uh, focus group interviews, maybe a questionnaire, uh, to discover what is the approach of editors to recent news articles on Wikipedia, and what is the expectations of the readers? Do readers want these articles? And if yes, what do they expect from them? So these are the qualitative uh, research projects that, uh, that I'm working on or co-working on. These are the projects that describe, but there are also, uh, there is also quantitative research, research that measures, that counts, that compares. And, uh, okay, massive spoiler. <laughs> um, we at Wikimedia Polska were interested and are still interested in user retention. Do 
editors stay for longer or do they burn out? Is there uh, a turnover? Are they replaced by editors who, who stay longer? And um, we made some user behavior models uh, and we presented them to a few people. And there were people who were interested uh, in, in our models and interested in doing something more with them. Uh, Mark Miguel, Christian Consoni and uh, David Laniado uh, have a session about it and in about three and a half hours. Uh, so I will not talk more about it because they took our concepts, they added their own concepts, and um, they they made a very nice uh, quantitative study uh, around these uh, these topics. I will leave that for them to develop. But I'm also building my own quantitative team. Um, these are, uh, this, this is Professor uh, Małgorzata karpińska Krakowiak from the University of Łódź. Because she's the professor, she's getting the biggest picture on this slide. Uh, also, Arthur Modlinski, uh, who's a doctor at the University of Łódź. And uh, Marcin Bartosiak, a doctor currently working at the University of Pavia in Italy with the same support team uh, from Wikipedia Polska, Wikimedia Polska, yours truly, uh, Katarzyna and Natalia. Now, these people really opened my eyes to quantitative research. And these are the people who asked me this inconvenient question. You've got this data banks, these, these databases open under a free license. Why aren't you researching it? We will be researching it. Uh, the project that the study that uh, that I'm working to develop with them is about the articles for deletion section. It's um, um, it's a very heat generating uh, section on Polish Wikipedia. There are sometimes lengthy discussions. There are heated debates uh, around nominating articles for deletion there. Um, and we want to check uh, what is the user involvement. You can do it using numerical methods. Yes, you can analyze the language. What is the user involvement? Uh, do people who participate in these discussions, do they also edit other in other places, in other areas? Or is their main area of activity articles for deletion? You can measure that. Um, what are the rationale, what are the reasons for submitting articles for deletion, and what are the uh, reasons for ending discussions? What is the lifespan uh, of articles when they are submitted for deletions? What is the trajectory of uh, the editors? You know, like the people whose articles get deleted, do they get discouraged and leave, or do they still stay on the project and try to do more? There are more questions within the study. Mm, we haven't got a, a specified research question yet because we're at the early stages. Right now we're going through journals, article databases to see the current state of research, what's been done so far. And we are searching for meta-analyses uh, to help us uh, to do our study better. You know, like we would, we would avoid unnecessary steps. If someone has done a meta-analysis before, we don't have to do it. Um, so these are our qualitative projects and quantitative projects. There is more, there is more, there is more. Yes, we want to do more. Of course, uh, I will not split into five people and oversee 10 different uh, academic research projects, but I, but I want to do more. And uh, if you have an idea, if you want to add something, you know where to find me. So I, I already see that there are two people uh, raising their hands. Uh, yeah, thank you. I'll, I'll turn over the, the moderating to Kirill. I would love to do it, but I'll turn it yeah, over. Yeah, thank you, Wojciech, for the interesting uh, presentation. Uh, I also have a couple of questions, but let's uh, leave them to the people who have already raised their hands. You have to stand in line. You have to stand in line, Kirill. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> OK, uh, we're going with uh, Jacob. Jacob was first, yes. 
Yeah, okay. Uh, this was very interesting, both way in presenting and, and presented content. Uh, and I'm, I will try to make this uh, a little bit controversial question to a researcher. Go ahead. Uh, what, what, is, what do you think is worth researching and, and for what reason? Because uh, often I see people who are passionate about research just going after almost everything, even the things that seem to be in the obvious uh, daylight visible to everyone. And sometimes I'm, I'm uh, against this. Few people manage to persuade me it's worth doing even then because maybe this solidifies what is kind of intuitively and subjectively uh, kind of understood as a common uh, uh -huh. uh, fact. Uh, but uh, it's useful for advocacy work maybe or, or on like media, uh, for, for, I don't know, for European projects where you need to present solid arguments. Um, and the, the other question is related to this, like what are the things um, that are not possible to quantify? Mm. Uh, and being a part of uh, LGBT plus user group, uh, I'm kind of constantly faced with people reporting microaggressions, mm -hmm. which are totally invisible to the systemic uh, observations, because they are usually hidden uh, by semi-automatic or automatic uh, responses. So people who, who do these kind of microaggressions within um, uh, Wikimedia ecosystem mm -hmm. can always say, ah, but we were just like informing people of better rules, of better practices and stuff like this. Because the, if you see this externally, objectively, it is kind of correct. Mm -hmm. But if you take the position of the person who are constantly receiving negative feedback, and, and, and th then it's obviously an aggression. Mm -hmm. Uh, so when do you think it, it makes sense to do a research and, and when it is really unnecessary because we cannot even get this data uh, from existing pool? Sure. Um, going back to your first question, uh, there are... I totally agree with the statement of people who uh, say that they want to know things instead of feeling things. Uh, very often, okay, Wikipedians are people who are very, I'm not saying obsessed, but uh, who, are, who are very keen on sources, on data, on reasons, right? So whatever you show to a Wikipedian, this is an academic article, this is research, they, say, they will say, oh yeah, this makes sense. Um, so in a way, yes, it makes sense to do research on the things that you feel deep inside, but uh, need to be articulated in an academic way. But um, at Wikimedia Polska, we uh, try to concentrate on research that will give us something, right? Uh, we will know how to uh, train people to avoid conflict in the articles for deletion section if we complete our uh, quantitative study. Uh, we will know, uh, you know, we, we will know how to develop, the community will know how to develop news articles, recent news articles, when we complete our next uh, qual uh, qualitative study. Um, so to answer your, uh, your first question, uh, anything worth researching is worth researching, but at Wikimedia Polska we um, concentrate on research that has some applied potential. And the second thing about quantifying, uh, I'm more of a qualitative uh, person, so I'm more into ethnographies, etc. Uh, and the conversation with the three people whom I presented to you, Dr. Karpinska, Professor Karpinska Krakowiak, Dr. Modlinski, Dr. Um, I forgot his name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Martin. Um, they opened my eyes and they 
showed me how much you can do with machine learning algorithms in terms of analyzing language. Uh, I would prefer to turn it over to them um, to, answer, to answer this question. Is it possible to, to quantify uh, language? Uh, yeah, language, language behaviors. But I can say that it's, it's probably very possible. On the other hand, you can also use uh, qualitative methods. You can, you, can, uh, you can do that with the team of uh, Anna and Marta, uh, whom I presented in the first part of my presentation. Hope that answers your, question, your questions. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jelko. Thank you, Wojciech. Uh, then we have a question by uh, Sergei. Okay. Uh, thank you, Wojciech, uh, for your presentation. And uh, I am a member of the organization uh, of uh, the several organization committees uh, of the contest of the articles. Uh, and uh, maybe uh, interesting uh, for your uh, your research in uh, uh, will be the next. Uh, sometimes, uh, uh, for example, a, co a contest uh, for uh, very uh, specific uh, and uh, local uh, semantic, uh, semantics, um, the articles uh, um, uh, very, uh, some articles uh, are very bad and uh, um editors uh, 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 on the articles uh, take uh, the templates of, of the problems uh, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe um, you will study uh, what the percent uh, uh, of uh, of the articles uh, uh, have uh, uh, such a uh, um, uh, templates uh, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, uh, will um, uh, write uh, um, during the contest. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 what uh, um, uh, will later with uh, these uh, uh, articles? Mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, uh, what, what do you think uh, about this? Well, uh, allow me to say once again that we did the research on a very specific group of articles, women's biographies, because we wanted to uh, have some standard, follow some standard. You cannot compare articles from two totally different groups. So mm, articles about country-specific or region-specific, local-specific things Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't researched them. That would be probably a good thing to uh, to take a look at because I was also observing local articles uh, on Polish Wikipedia being discussed in articles for deletion. Um, so I, I cannot give you a good answer to this question because we studied on a different sample on a different group of articles. Um, and I would have to ask the, the, the question first, does it make sense to, uh, to do research on a different class of articles, S somehow relating to what Jaco uh, asked me, right? I cannot give you a good clear answer on this at, at this stage of our research. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Sergei and Wojciech. Uh, let's move on to Shamat. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Um, I would like to say thank you to Wojciech and all the all the involved people and participants in this research because I believe that any research we do about our 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 uh, community or about uh, our content is is useful and very important. And what you did is a, is a really fundamental research and uh, this should be should 
yeah, should be we should have more of this type of researches. As long uh, as I'm motivated by by my curiosity, I will do research. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and uh, and I'm 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 very much interested in any results which comes out this type of researches. And if uh, if uh, I'm already cannot wait until the next C meeting to hear about the next uh, phase of this research or the next results. So if you if you have any any any, any intermediate re, uh, results or report uh, which is available, I'm I'm very happy to to have it and read it. Uh, and uh, and one more aspect which I would like to mention that that you did a very very time consuming and very uh, qualitative type of research, uh, which is uh, which is not everybody can easily repeat because it needs uh, many people, a bigger organization. I mean, it needs organization time and uh, and and uh, and um, quite a large effort from everybody who is involved. Um, but if 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 we can find the ways where we can more. Uh, how should I say? Automatize or find ways which which makes it easier to uh, reproduce for other communities. Uh, it would be very very good to do the same research for uh, share share this knowledge and 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 do it with other communities and con Wikipedia or other projects. Yeah, uh, the the quality of contest uh, contest written articles can be reproduced quite easily. Uh, all you need is uh, Zoom license for two meetings of, let's say, two hours, Wikimedia Polska can provide. Um, you need you need to recruit people. You need to recruit six editors and six uh, readers of the of the language, which is very feasible, I think. Mm. If these people are willing to uh, discuss in English, I can I can uh, host. Uh, these meetings, these focus group interviews, or I can ask my research colleagues to do that with me. Uh, and you need a transcription, so you need uh, a little money to to transcribe it and to go over it uh, by the mm -hmm. by the researchers. So so that's the most time consuming thing. But uh, it takes a few people, not a lot of people. It takes uh, time, mainly in the um, analysis phase, but uh, organizational wise. It is not a, a, a large, overwhelming effort. I can I can assure you, M many communities mm. would would be able to do it. I think my intent wasn't that I would like to load the Polish uh, research team with other communities uh, and and other language uh, projects. Uh, I I think this is something which probably locally should be solved. But the practices and and uh, and the processes what you did, if, if you can share this, uh, or anybody who does similar research would be would be really useful. Well, you know, uh, loading the Polish community with with uh, additional work. Um, if we do the same research on, uh, let's say, five different language versions, for us, for me and the research team, that would that would result in a better science that we can produce because we would be able to say, hey, it works not only on Polish Wikipedia, but on Czech, Hungarian, and, uh, and, and, and Macedonian. You know, it, it, We have studied not one community, but five. It makes better science. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, of course it needs time, but, but I would be interested. I would be interested. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, well, sorry, sorry one more comment, uh, very short. Uh, that uh, that I we should find a, a good good place to share this knowledge already. And on Meta, we have, for example, a page of under the sea that slash research. But we have already some some hubs and ideas where can we share. But let's talk about it later. Let's talk about it offline. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I think we're running out of time, so uh, I would like to invite Rembry to uh, go ahead and ask a question or comment on uh, the topic. 
Uh, yeah, thanks for your for comprehensive study. Uh, I just wanted to, to say that uh, it got me very interesting that uh, you are planning this research on articles for deletion because uh, this already was, uh, I knew that it was already a subject of research, but only in English Wikipedia, as far as I know. So yeah, we found be, some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it would be great if um, we, so like, of course, then we can compare different. Um, uh, language uh, sites, what tendencies are in different com mm -hmm. communities, what is connected to what, uh, so yeah, it's, it's quite great. Yeah, thanks. Uh, one comment, the people who are doing this uh, quantitative study, uh, Maugazata, Arthur and Marcin, they are, they want to go big, so they don't want to focus on one project or, or one language. So, yeah. We'll probably go across many language versions. Yeah. Okay. I think we have uh, time for a brief uh, question or comment by Clara, and then we're going to end this session. Clara, please. Uh, yeah, I, I wrote it down uh, to the chat, uh, but uh, probably you haven't noticed. Uh, could you describe how the arrangement with the, the, the researchers went? Because you know what I'm thinking. Uh, the same that research will be great, but I'm always like um, doubting about the motivation of the researcher here in Czech Republic. <laughs> like what, what, okay. what there would be for them, you know? What there would be for them? Um, you have to find researchers who are interested in your area. Like Marta and Anya are ethnographers and they want to do more in digital societies. There is a professor at the Gdańsk University of Technology who is into um, new media, etc. So if you have researchers at institutions who don't have a didactic position, teaching position, but a research position, their main job is to do science and they want to do good science. So finding, finding the right people is, is essential. Marta and Anna are interested in new media research. This gives them, uh, they are at their doctorate level, they are doctors. Uh, so this is pushing them towards their professor's degree if they publish in high quality scientific journals. The same for uh, Maugajata, Martin and, and Arthur they are working towards their full professorships. And if you find people who are interested in our projects, who find them really interesting, who think that they can get out academic research from it, it's the key. And of course, uh, funding helps. I didn't mention that uh, we got some money from WMF uh, for, uh, for this research, like to cover transcripts, to hire programmers, uh, yeah, to, to, to have tools for text analysis, et cetera. So uh, a little grant money also helps. Thank you, Wojciech. Uh, we're three minutes past the deadline, so I think uh, it's time to end this uh, session. I know that uh, it's uh, too little to discuss all details uh, relating to uh, your research that you do within Wikimedia Polska. If someone wants to uh, ask you a question or comment uh, about the research, uh, then I think uh, they uh, will need to contact you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. You know where to find me. Uh, my email was in the uh, uh, was in the presentation in the slides, but I'm available under my real name on social media and everywhere. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Wojciech. Um...